Mouth I just went like- to the grocery store and smelt everything in there after our last conversation about nosing. People were looking at me a little weird with COVID going on and stuff, but I was like, Mask guys, off. I'm doing it for my YouTube channel. And they were like, oh, okay, they totally understand. What's up, everybody? It's Ian from Northern Proof. We're going to hang out today drinking some Johnny Walker. A song of Fire. I'm Dave, and I like to party. And I'm Daryl, the Whiskey Sith, and you can find Northern Proof on YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and Google Podcasts. All Guys, right. that was my song. That was my song of fire. Did it sound very fire esque? I, I think it needed to be a little, a little deeper. It might have been in the wrong house. I don't know. We're talking about Game of Thrones, right? Is there like a, <laughs> a song of? This one sounds like a pretty hefty house. Hefty house. I don't know. After all, they're protected by dragons. Oh, Ooh, yes. So Johnny Walker, Song of Fire, and they put these out based on Game of Thrones. Am I correct? You are correct. I don't know. <laughs> Do either of you guys watch Game of Thrones? We don't. You don't. You see, Daryl, you like, bought a bottle of Game of we Thrones like the whiskey. Packaging. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> Well, I liked Game of Thrones. I mean, the ending was not what everybody was hoping for. So if you do end up watching the series, Ian and Daryl, be prepared to let be let down at the end. You know what? I didn't hear anything about that being a bad ending. It was nowhere. No, the no. internet wasn't complaining about it. Twitter wasn't complaining. Ooh, there were some upset people about it. I'm kidding. That was that was a joke. Oh, the, okay. The yeah. world. No, I didn't. I didn't catch on your sarcasm. The world stopped <laughs> because Game of Thrones sucked at the end. I know. I always hate it when <laughs> series like force an ending, right? Like they needed like another five seasons, but they couldn't afford it anymore. But like they the- could afford whiskey, so maybe they're trying to recoup some of their money off of Johnny Walker. Absolutely. And I think some of the other big scotch houses, they uh, released other other things. I think Oban, um, a few like others did some Game of Thrones. Eight releases. or 12 of them. There's a bunch. Uh, I think I think you guys are in for a treat on the Song of Fire. Uh, it's a uh, lighter scotch at 40.8% alcohol by volume. Okay. And uh, it's got some nice peat in it from Coila. Hmm. Ooh. So did, I, I did found I this hear... one interesting. The first time I poured it on my nose, on when I was giving it a nosing, it almost reminds me a bit of a bourbon that somebody may have blended with some scotch. Okay. I was gonna say, did they char the barrels with dragon breath? I do get some sulfur on the nose, actually. So, Song of Fire. They're basing this whiskey off of House Targaryen, um, which had the beautiful Daenerys from, like, guys, it's worth watching just for Daenerys. Oh, She's boy. From House Targaryen. Here we go. Beautiful. <laughs> totally worth it. <laughs> is she, is this she is going a, slideways quick. Wait, is, she, is she a dragon? She is the queen of dragons, the mother oh, of dragons. Oh, I see, I see. So she ended up having these dragon eggs and dragons birthed out of them in this fiery flame burst of everything and she can't be burnt by fire that's like part of their house they can't be burnt by fire um so she was the mother of dragons she had three dragons that she walked around with so pretty badass so i'm hoping for some pretty badass whiskey when you got a dragon on the label not too strong on the nose i don't really get Nothing really like biting me in the face. Dave's on fire tonight. He's ready for this. Dave is on fire. <laughs> I love it. Ooh, a little fruity notes. Fruity notes. I'm getting straight sulfur. Sulfur. I'm, yeah, I wasn't kidding. Interesting. <laughs> Did you fart? No. Before you sniffed your glass. It smells like corn. Did your I, wife I get... fart in your glass? He said, before he you said sulfur. That's the smell you get when I, you light a match, Dave. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you're confusing Boring. the lighting of the match after the fart yeah i get like a sweetness to it on the nose really i get so i get like a um i think there's got to be grain in here i think there's got it's a is it a blend of single malts or is there is it just a blend daryl have you read the back of the bottle i'll do that while you guys talk 
I can get that sulfur. Yeah, I see what you're saying. It's not a bad, it's not a pungent sulfur, but it's like, yeah, it's this weird kind of like. Is it the peat? Like, is it something that's trying to bounce, like fight the peat? Because I know you said that it's blended with something peaty, but it it doesn't really smell smoky to me. Well, there's peat in there for sure. I think that's, it's a weird, I don't know if it's a weird peat or just something I'm not used to yet. It's almost like a pungent peat. Like the smoke's got a a pungent smell to it. It's not a clean peat in my well, if you can have a clean peat. A clean peat. <laughs> yeah, I, I think it'll be... They don't call it a, a blended scotch um, on the bottle. They just call it a unique blend. So that's okay. a bit of a, uh, a stray from a normal that, Johnny Walker labeling. I could definitely uh, so. see there being grain in there just based off the nose. That's And that, Daryl, you said you thought it was a bourbon with scotch mixed in. So that would lean to grain yeah possibly that is a very interesting palette it almost tasted like water to start i do get the fruit notes dave that you were talking about Mm -hmm. like there's some there's i don't know what they are though maybe even floral too like a like a really odd not odd but there's just unique mixing here yeah Yeah. a unique nose i yeah i get freely mixed with salty um, so salty, the, yeah, salty. salty coming from the peat. Is it like an apricot or something? Mm. Could be. I don't eat a lot of apricots, so I don't pull that very often. Most I just went are... to the grocery store and smelt everything in there after our last conversation about nosing. People were looking at me a little weird with COVID going on and stuff, but I was like, <laughs> Mask guys, off. I'm doing it for my YouTube channel. And they were like, oh, okay, they totally understand. <laughs> yeah, I, I got to do this. I'm getting into scotch and bourbon. and I'm at Bulk Barn just other yeah, types of whiskey into different and... things. <laughs> oh, that's cinnamon. That's cinnamon. <laughs> it burns. It burns. That's where the burn comes from. <laughs> It's fairly light on the palate, and then I kind of can feel it a little bit more in the the back of my tongue. I kind of am a little disappointed, to be honest. Uh I was hoping for a little bit more complexity in it. Um, Dave, last week you said, or whenever that was, uh, you said, I'm... I can't wait to find the one I don't like. <laughs> are, are we on the way downhill for you? It's not that I don't like uh, it, but I'm just a little disappointed. I had a lot of hype in my mind from the Game the of Thrones, Song of Fire, Game of Thrones. They based this off of like one of the most epic characters in the series. Mm-hmm. So I was kind of hoping for something big where this is kind of hitting me like a little side character that you didn't really care about as much in the show. <laughs> um and we're we're coming down from uh doing some cast ranks some right very That's true. strong rise that have very strong flavors in them this uh, is the first drink into, of the night uh, for me but... a blended a blended scotch so it's going to be very smooth yeah and i think um, i don't know i'm kind of happy know. about that and the fact that like maybe i'm getting more and more used to that cast strength with the higher proof because 40 uh, like it is a lower proof but normally for me i still would hit it a little bit harder so we did the old world rye from whistle pig which is three yeah. percent more than this got you remember that and you yeah. and i said i was a buy on that one at 150 dollars. yeah because even though it's similar proof to this it had that character and complexity yeah and this is not like this is a lot cheaper uh to buy it's it's not that um I don't. What was the cost on this, Daryl? Was it like 50, 60? Or 50 Yeah, think, it wasn't yeah. that much. Like oh, it was okay. a very basic Scotch price. Yeah. Like yeah, it's, it's it's around the same uh, as a tw- the twelve year old black. Yeah. So, um, it's it's a unique nose. Uh, mm-hmm. I'm not sure if I like it, but it's unique. I'm not I'm not a Scotch fan in general. I would lean bourbon unless right. it's something special. Um. And this that sulfur note kind of throws me for a loop. And then the finish, I almost get a vodka finish. Oh, really? I get this super light alcohol. That's I don't really get any flavor to it. It just kind of sits there. It's a fairly long finish for vodka. It's the most flavorful vodka I've had. <laughs> no, I, it actually it does have a very long finish on it. Yeah. Uh, surprising for how much water has probably been added to it. Um, to get it down to that 
alcohol by volume. I find it's got a good minute to minute and a half finish on there. Like you can still feel it at the top of the throat. Yeah, I feel like I'm getting the PD finish though. Are you? Like I, I'm getting like my yeah. I've got like a good smoky PD finish back there. It's not anything strong or crazy yeah. powerful, but it's there. It's there's a hint of it. Yeah, water. mid palate. There's something. There's something sitting there. I can't peg what it is. Um, and the longer you don't sip on it, the drier your mouth gets. Um, that that is true. It almost gets a little bit creamy, uh, but not not very much. There's a little there. Um, I will be honest. I just had Taco Bell on the way home, <laughs> so I could be a little skewed. Maybe so that's the sulfur note. Sulfur I, note, I, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I'm getting almost like a brown sugar on the palate, even. Okay. There's something the a little bit tip of your tongue? to it. Uh, almost mid. Really? I say. I'm not getting anything on the tip of my tongue. Okay. Maybe I'm just going to stick my tongue in it. I have this, it has this weird. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's it's kind of gross. <laughs> it has this. <laughs> When you when it first hits your tongue, it's almost like this cloud that that kind of sits on it a little bit. The the mouth feels a little interesting. It's like a light, and then it kind of dissipates. Uh, yeah. It doesn't last long for me, Ooh. and then it does kind of stick around with that like tingle. Maybe it's Pete. I I'm maybe I'm longing for some more finish. That's why I think of uh, that vodka kind of thing. But yeah, it's interesting. Yeah. See, I think. For me, I was expecting it to bring the fire. I should have known that the 40% yeah. isn't going to bring that fire, but it's almost like walking into the carnage after the dragon has burnt down the village where you're walking mm -hmm. in and there's that like, you're walking through the smoke and the fog and stuff like that, but you're not necessarily in that crazy big mm -hmm. moment of the fire breathing dragon. And I think that's the disappointment to me. I think Johnny Walker missed a mark there. I think if you're going big with this, dragon themed song of fire i want more cinnamon notes i want more spice more heat to it to bring that fire element to mm. that whiskey i don't know yeah go ahead Daryl. i'm of the belief that johnny walker they know their audience they gotcha. know what people expect out of out of the johnny walker line there's not a huge variance the 12 and the the double black is probably it's the most peated um of all of or i find it their most peated out of their lineup um, their lineup's very smooth very easy to drink mm -hmm. um and even i'll get a lot of hate on this one i find the blue is very light um oh. And, oh, thanks. and just disappears yeah. uh, it's it's my least favorite of all all the johnny walkers we did a, a tasting oh, not too cool. long ago about it and so I think that's, they probably could have definitely taken this bottle up a few notches, but they also don't want to stray from that core audience that's going to buy yeah. a Johnny Walker. And suddenly they're like, I don't want the peat. I don't want that spice. I don't want that. Uh, and then it gets bad reviews. Um, I think on the distiller app, this one's sitting at a 3.87 rating. So it's, it's pretty high for a Johnny Walker. Gotcha. That's interesting to know because I didn't really know much of Johnny Walker's history. I didn't know that they're known to be like a bit of a smoother drink. So maybe that's my own bad coming into this without that background knowledge. But as a first time trier of this, I wanted more. Now knowing that people are probably buying it for what it is. And I think it's still a great commemorative bottle. It's for people who are fans of the show that would want that bottle on their shelf. It, they put a lot of great effort into that design of it to make it look really fiery. And I know that there's the ice version of it as well. Um, so they did the fire and the ice to be able to have that on your shelf with a little thing. It could be a nice little display. And this is something nice yeah, to pour for somebody did a, coming over. Yeah, and the, the song, is it the Song of Ice and the walk, White Walker, um, you put those in the freezer for a couple of days and they take on a whole new flavor palette of their own oh, uh, cool. they're very fruity they're very light uh lots of caramel in them um they go down very easily and um 
yeah, the, I think this is probably the furthest they've pushed that I know of that I've tasted uh, yeah. into that that peat range. I'm missing the sweet malt from this. So if you drink a Johnny Walker Black, the 12 year old, you get this sweet malt vanilla with the peat. So it's like this sweet peat that's that's enjoyable. I really like Johnny Walker Black for what it is. This one though, I'm I get this. I I think it's grain that I'm getting in the nose. So it, yeah. it takes. I don't necessarily lean towards that sweet malt taste, but I I appreciate it when I taste it, will smell and taste a good one. And I just I'm I feel like there's something different with this. The nose is interesting, and then the palate just leaves me wanting a ton more. But mm -hmm. But for the price point, it, you know, it's it's the entry level essentially, uh, scotch. Uh, it's worth a shot, and it's a collector's bottle. I wonder how many people are cracking these, or or rather, sticking the full bottle sealed on the shelf for a display, or the Game of Thrones factor, right? Yeah. Um. So it, it's interesting, though. Yeah, because mm -hmm. I think like there has been rumors that Game of Thrones is going to be doing some new series within their world and one of them might be a throwback to a whole prequel on house targaryen so somebody who might be sitting on a sealed bottle of this and that revamps around they might even be looking to flip that bottle or they might just kind of save it and salvage it to have with friends while watching the series through or something mm -hmm. right yeah i'd say this is a great entry scotch if you've never had anything with pete before then this would be like a good introductory to it. Um, and I'm kind of impressed with myself that, that I, I think I'm beyond the, uh, the entry. Well, level. welcome to snob life. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, all, <laughs> it's all expensive from here now, Dave. Damn uh, it. <laughs> I would say, um, yeah, it, it's worth a try, uh, especially mm -hmm. in Ontario where we are it's it's a cheaper scotch um me personally i'm gonna spend an, another 10 to 15 dollars more if i want pete i'm going lefroy probably a lefroy 10 or a lefroy quarter cast um and then if i wanted a, a malt or you know what glenfiddich fire and cane uh glenfiddich fire and cane is another one that might rival this for about 10 15 dollars more uh and it's got that single malt factor uh, with the peat and it's got a, just a bit more character so for the price point i'm underwhelmed um but if you're a game of thrones fan um and you and you want to try some scotch this is a good one to to possibly start on let me tell you a little something about the house targaryen house targaryen of dragonstone is an exiled great house of westeros and former royal house of the seven kingdoms House Targaryen conquered and unified the realm before it was disposed during Robert's rebellion. And the House Baratheon replaced it as the new royal house. Cheers. That is good stuff. <laughs> Goes down nice and easy. It looked like you were chugging it. That's why I started cracking up laughing because I couldn't handle it. <laughs> I'm like, is he chugging it then spitting it back in? What's it? Do I want this sample? <laughs> this is what I do every time I'm outside with a bottle. Yeah. yeah. It maybe who takes glasses longer. out there. They can break. <laughs> so who wants a sample? <laughs> if you'd like a sample of what I just chugged from, hit us up in the message board and we'll get them out to you. <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed our review of Song of Fire. Let us know if you've given it a try or if it's sitting on your shelf collecting dust. Uh, you can find us at Northern Proof on YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and Google Podcasts. I'm Whiskey Sith. I'm Dave. Thanks for listening. Make sure to hit that like, hit that subscribe, leave a little comment so that people can see more of our beautiful faces and hear more about what we think about whiskey. And I'm Ian. And it's that time again, share some good whiskey and let the low proof do the talking. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. <laughs> yeah, that's good stuff. There's the Pete.
right? On the last shot. You, you gotta shoot it. Yeah. You need about a full ounce and shoot it, and there it shows it's up. It's a shooter. Yeah. yeah. That's why I was chugging from the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> now you know. Makes sense. Yeah, because yep. like, as a shooter with the dragon, the fire, the logo, you get a smoky finish so then that's where it really hits but when yeah. i was sipping on it i wasn't really Nothing. getting that yeah. yeah interesting very cool the paint fumes that got to me 